final question. Mm. I cannot, we cannot leave here really. So many people are being affected by unemployment mm. and it's, it, uh, well, this week's figures, the ONS figures, 197,000 jobs have been lost between September 2019 and uh, 2020. That's this week's figures. Um, what steps do gov does government need to take in your view, your party's view? Um, what could they do differently in respect to the unemployment uh, in, in terms of um, rebutting? Well, I mean, I think the, some of the support packages we've talked about have been critical to trying to keep those numbers down. I think where I would criticise perhaps in terms of how those support packages have been delivered and managed is the fact that when it's become very clear that they need to be extended, it's been left to the very last minute to provide those extensions, which is then resulting in people being laid off yes. um, who might not otherwise have needed to be laid yes. off. So, you know, again, last, just last night, we had the Chancellor announcing a one month extension to furlough, just as a, a load of people were about to be served with yes, redundancy notices. Mm -hmm. um, so I think having, you know, it's really important for government to, to, to try and take a, a sort of medium term view and look at these packages on, in that way. Uh, also providing support for those who've been excluded as we've already discussed. But also really, really critical is uh, the skills agenda and, yes. and reskilling and helping people to retrain and reskill. And you know, I've heard, uh, I went to visit the job center here in Twickenham two, three months ago, hearing about sadly all the losses from the aviation industry. That's terrible. Um, you know, pilots yes. and, and air stewards retraining mm. in, in other areas and looking for roles in other sectors, yes. that is absolutely key. And having you know this fantastic Richmond College on yes. our doorstep, which has just had a rebuild and has got so many fabulous facilities being here in St Mary's University, yes. again, yes. You know, at the heart of our community, is uh, I, I would really like to see the government stepping up to the plate on the skills agenda in terms of helping provide much more support and funding for FE so that people can reskill and retrain. And yes, all of this does require additional government spending and we are all concerned yes. about how much money is we being borrowed. We have to borrowed. pay for it afterwards. But we will have to pay for it afterwards, but while interest rates are low, we, you know, we can't afford to see you know, millions and millions of people being unemployed. No, we, we need can't. to do everything we can to protect jobs, reskill and, and help us come out fighting at once fingers crossed, the vaccine is rolled out to all of us, hopefully sometime next year. We are ending on a high note. And yeah. of course, we're doing the kickstart training with Richmond College. Yeah. And so we're promoting that very heavily across the borough. So businesses can take on some young people. Great. So that's good news. And they're also, Richmond College are also doing quite a lot of reskilling, retraining yeah. um, in respect to the civil service. So getting people, unemployed people, job ready to yeah. work in the civil service. So they're really playing their part. Right. Um, yeah, so all, all good news. We're ending on a high note, which yes. is good because there's not a lot of good news around at the moment and no. we're not long to go before Christmas. So uh, thank you for joining us. Not at all. Really appreciated. No. Um, and thank you for being so expansive. Uh, that helps our business, uh, business leaders appreciate uh, where you're coming from, what you're doing, how you're representing us, and we shall certainly keep in touch. Right. And thank you very right. much for your time today. Uh, I'd just like to say thank you to all our local businesses for all you do for local people in terms of providing jobs, but also being at the beating heart of our community, wishing you all a very happy and healthy and peaceful Christmas and a happier and healthier 2021.